Hey guys, uh, welcome to this a bit different video today. Uh, I'm walking here at a random place somewhere in Germany. Okay, granted, it's not quite as random as I make it out to be because I am in Delmenhorst, in the outskirts of Bremen in the northern parts of Germany. But why am I here today? Well, I have a favorite shop where I like to buy all my new Herpa models from and um, I thought I should take a, take a little walk and visit them one day. And uh, that day is today. Wow. I think they have a bit of everything. Everything you can want. Oh, that's really cool. So uh, a really, really cool store. I mean, they have everything. If you are interested in any kind of scale models, cars, trucks, bulldozers, diggers. I mean, I'm, I'm out of my depth here for sure, uh, but they have some really, really cool stuff here, uh, both in the shop, of course, but also on their online uh, shop. And while cars, trucks and diggers, of course, are very nice, my heart beats for aviation and aircraft models, and I'm sure yours does too. So um, I think I will try to find someone here who actually knows something about it. And I can tell you that he is a little bit of a celebrity in our scene. Um, so ladies and gentlemen, welcome to LK Airports. We have quite a few aircraft in 1 to 500 from Herpa Wings, we also have 1 to 500 from JC Wings and also in scale 1 to 200 and 1 to 400 from Herpa and JC Wings. Now it has not passed my attention that you have a lot of really awesome aircraft models here in the store and also the really amazing aviation tags. But speaking from one collector to another, one of my favorite aircraft models of all time must be the ANA Dreamliner from JC Wings. But which one is yours, Christian? Guess what? It's the same model. It's the ANA R2D2 from JC Wings in 1 to 500 is my uh, um, is my all-time favorite with the delivery with the antennas and uh, it's a beautiful print and the good thing is that we still have it in our store and it's still available for purchase. All right, guys, I am back in windy Denmark, but I didn't leave the shop uh, empty handed. No, I got some nice models, of course, for some upcoming reviews. Um, but I didn't just go to the shop because of the models that I wanted to purchase. No, uh, I also had something else in mind, something that I've been planning for a while together with the nice guys from the FMB shop, because we are reaching some pretty nice milestones here on the channel. But what that is all about, and what will happen, I don't want to tell you right now, but you will find out in my upcoming review on the 27th of July at 5 p.m. European summertime. So do stay tuned for that. Mm -hmm. 